hello guys uh, welcome back to the another video okay in this video we will uh, see how the strings looks like in uh, the PE view or we can say the P studio so what you need to do you need to just uh, uh, open your flare okay so just uh, there uh, you need to open that flare so you find out karna hai, uh, PE uh, view okay so you need to go to utility uh, click on that and uh, just find out the PE view uh, there is a P P P P view okay so you need to click on that okay that is the open and it will ask you what file you want to uh, examine so uh, uh, that is can be the executable that can be the DLL that can be the data system that can be the anything okay or you can say that all files you can check okay so there is our malware unknown okay uh, we're gonna open this file so so uh, you guys uh, might be asking oh, what are these actually so these are the strings looks like in pe view so you can see there is a, a p files so that is a, a memory locations on your uh, uh, left side uh, and there in the middle there is a raw, raw data and uh, uh, the last is the values okay so uh, these are the hexadecimal numbers okay so this malware unknown malware you can also drag and drop basically so let me open that so you can see uh, there is the uh, presentation representation of the uh, PE file the portable executable file okay so these are the bunch of things you can see the uh, there are uh, tons of the uh, raw data so there are the uh, uh, ascii's uh, and hex values and there are the uh, the values of the plain plain text that this is the p file i'm talking about that, that is the memory locations and this is the raw data hex values uh, how is the um, computer understanding and these these are the um, values that a human can uh, read so you can see uh, there is a, a computer understand like uh, okay these are the files uh, that replaced by the some characters if you see these dot dot that means a computer can't replace so it just replaced with the dot dot so don't be confused in that okay uh, so you can see there is the mz on the top okay so these are the basically uh, indicating uh, that is our window executable uh, portable executable file okay so uh, uh, that is you can say that is the um, uh, extension of that file that is the executable for the windows system okay and uh, this write the uh, the program i mean this program uh, cannot be run in dos that means that is the dos based okay uh, that is the executable okay so uh, so in this uh, pe view we will uh, f very interesting to find out uh, very really interesting uh, to find out the sums uh, of uh, like uh, uh, headers okay so we will click on that image anti headers and we have the section raw data we have section dot resource section raw relocation so these are the uh, section we are going to examine exactly so image file header if you click on that image file header in image anti header so uh, here you can see the timestamp. Uh, so the timestamp is nothing. Basically, it's indicating uh, the it's indicating the uh, where it's compiled, when it compiles. So it can be the defaults when you examine in your uh, computer in your systems. Okay. So uh, this timestamp tell us like uh, okay, this uh, malware is basically how old is it? When is exactly uh, like uh, you know the stamping on that malware? So next we are interested in uh, uh, basically next uh, we're gonna interested in our uh, uh, that is image section header dot text okay so in this uh, uh, section uh, header dot text we are interested in the virtual size and the size of raw data so uh, the virtual size have the values uh, data values uh, that is one five a one so let me just uh, okay we are interested in virtual size and virtual uh, virtual size and the size of raw data so uh, let me just open our uh, calculator so we will uh, try to find out how much uh, decimal is contained so click on the decimal okay so there is a choose hexade hexadecimal and uh, we're gonna enter the 1600 
okay so it containing the uh, decimal 5632 something some value okay so uh, this size of raw data and we're going to compare with the virtual size so let me compare with that the virtual size okay so why we have the 15a1 so it have the 5537 okay so uh, the value basically the motive behind of this uh, why are we comparing that so if this size of raw data is nearly roughly equal to the virtual size that means we can say that that is not fact file uh, we are working on the uh, like uh, on the uh, uh, not packed file okay packed file nahi hai ye theek hai size of raw data is less than virtual size okay so we can say that the we are actually examining a packed file that is containing something uh, bad or suspicious thing we can say the malware so jab bhi aap size of raw data and virtual size uh, compare kare to ye dhyan rakhiye ki nearly uh, equal roughly equal ho size agar zyada uh, hota hai size of i mean size of raw data agar kam hota hai aur virtual size bahut zyada hota hai that mean it is packed okay so next we have the import address in section uh, dot r data so import address tables uh, telling us uh, like uh, we are uh, like uh, what uh, windows api calls uh, uh, actually uh, uh, using in that uh, file so when we talking about the windows api uh, when we talking about the windows api theek hai so that is the uh, apart uh, like uh, another topic so i will uh, teach you this uh, uh, an another video okay so make sure jo maine abhi samjha hai aapko samajh mein aaya ho theek hai so make sure uh, we have the sections in pe view theek hai jab aap pe view uh, examine karenge aapko bahut sare section milenge anti headers milega uh, anti headers mein aap kis tarah se file ko examine kar sakte hain you will see the uh, time stamp there and uh, in another section you will see the uh, some kind of the virtual size and the raw data so you aap usko compare kar sakte hain aur compare karne ke baad aap dekh sakte hain ki basically that is the packed or not okay so uh, that's it for this video okay